Welcome to my birthday haul. I just felt like filming this because I was so happy with everything that I got for my birthday and most of it is beauty stuff so I thought it would just be fun to show everyone and as everyone kind of says with these sort of videos, in no way am I showing off. So let's just get started. So I've actually put this all into kind of little categories and the first one is toys. I've got loads of soft toys. First I've got this doggy. <laughs> and it's just so soft and I got this kind of chicken thing and I also got a turtle and I also got another turtle so those are the toys and my birthday was actually on the 17th of May and I had the most amazing birthday and I just turned 20 and then the next category is food items and I actually got quite a bit of like kind of food scented stuff and I, the first thing I got was macaroons from Ladere. I don't know how to say it properly but I think it's called Ladere. and they're actually all gone now but I thought I'd just show you the box because I love these macaroons and then the next item that I got also was this Charbonnel and Walker chocolate Charbonnel but this is a really nice hot chocolate it smells so good and when you're drinking it, it just tastes so nice. Like you can just tell it's quality chocolate. I am an avid tea drinker. That's why my teeth are not as white as they should be. And I absolutely love tea. And me and my friend always have tea sessions. And she bought me these tea bags from, I don't know where they're from, but it says you are my cup of tea. And these are really cool because they actually have are silk tea bags. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but the like bag thing that they're in is made of silk. So definitely have to save these for special occasion. And the next kind of category, I guess, is perfumes. So I did get quite a few perfumes and the first one I'll show you is, and this is Sunflowers by Elizabeth Arden. And it's just such a really nice kind of summery scent. It's just a really clean, Scent. and I hate when people do this but it's just a really nice clean scent for the summer next one I got was Vera and Princess now this is so weird that I actually got this because I was telling one of my other friends that I wanted to get this because she had this on and my other friends actually bought it for me and it is just a really nice kind of sweet smell that still got some freshness to it if that makes sense but it is just a really nice perfume I'm really glad I got it as I've never had it before, but as soon as I smelled my friend, I knew I wanted it. My all-time favourites has to be Daisy by Marc Jacobs. It's just such a wearable scent and everyone loves it. Every time I wear this, I swear I will always... Okay, I don't have like 10 million people ask me what I'm wearing, but like most of the time, someone will ask me what perfume I'm wearing and it's just such a nice clean scent and it's something that I love but I never end up repurchasing so I love getting perfume as presents and the next thing I've got was Lady Million and this is just such a staple perfume it is quite strong so if you like clean scents it's probably not for you but it's definitely a smell that I love and then the next one I've never had this and this is Voss Orange and the first time I actually smelt it like in shops I didn't really like it but after having it, I really, really like it. It's just such a perfect everyday smell and I'll definitely recommend this if you're looking for something that's light but still kind of feminine. Another gift that's in the kind of scent category is this candle and I actually got a dip tea candle as a present and I've never really been a candle person but I've definitely wanted a dip tea candle. It's all, all the YouTubers talk about them and the packaging's so pretty and the bot, like the little glass it comes in is so pretty as well. And my friend actually got me this one and I think it's Rose Mundi, Rose Mundi. But this is actually a limited edition one and I really, really love this guys. Um, it just smells really rosy. So it's definitely not for someone who doesn't like the smell of rose, but it's not the sort of rose smell that really puts you off. It's just a really nice kind of clean smell and I'm so so happy with this. I can't wait to use this and then put my makeup brushes in it after. And the next thing I got was this and this is the Moroccan oil kind of little starter set and you get a little shampoo, well this is a conditioner but you get a shampoo as well 
and you get a little intensive treatment mask and you also get a mini Moroccan oil. I'm so glad I got this because recently my hair has been damaged so badly and my hair is just so dry and it might not look that bad in this video but I promise it is just so ruined. It is like hay-like. So I did actually get some nail polishes and I got these two from Essie and this colour is Go Overboard and this colour is Big Spender. I have already had Big Spender but it's such a favourite of mine. It's just a really nice kind of purpley pink and this colour I've never had but I'm so excited to wear. And these colours are just perfect for the summer. This little set and this has mint candy apple and sparkle on top like top coat and this is called the twinkle bell set and I think it's so cute. such cute colours. Before I move on to the makeup stuff I got this necklace as well and this is from Accessorize and I saw my friend wearing this and she and I absolutely loved it guys it's just such a cute necklace and you can kind of like spell your name out and I think it would just look so pretty like day to day. It just adds a really nice touch to a plain outfit. Now onto the makeup. So the first thing is Benefit They're Real. I'm so glad I got this because I have the mini one. However, I have heard other YouTubers say that the mini one is nothing compared to the full size one. So I'm really, really excited to, to try this because I do have really short lashes that are also straight. So if it can hold a curl, this will definitely become a staple. From NARS, I also got this contour kit and this is in the colour Paloma. This is such a gorgeous set, honestly. Um, I'm just gonna hide the mirror. But it's just a really nice kind of contour shade or kind of bronzy shade as well. And this really, really pretty highlight. And I think it will just look so good. I'm really excited because these are the sort of things that I love to use day to day and they just make day to day makeup applications so much easier. The last kind of face product that I got was the Kevin Aquan Celestial Highlight. It is just really smooth and it just provides the perfect glow to the skin. I'm glad I got this. Something that I've really wanted but I've never really wanted to purchase and um, especially since the sizing kind of changed it kind of felt like Oh, if anyone didn't know, the sizing had changed from a much bigger kind of pan to this smaller one. And I kind of felt like, oh, am I really getting my money's worth of it? But I'm so glad. I'm actually wearing it today. I don't know if you guys can actually notice, but you guys, I don't know if, if, if it will pick up on camera, but hopefully it does. It's just the perfect highlight. It really shows up, but without being like so like glittery if that makes sense it's just so 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 pretty and i love the packaging i love the way it comes like everything about it i just love it. if you're um like a highlighter junkie it's definitely something that you need i really wanted um the tanya bear lip gloss in chic and i got it and the last three items are lipsticks and the first one was from guerlain I think I said that right, and this is in the colour 76 Gracie, and this packaging is so cool guys, like I literally was like, this is like an alien spaceship, and this just opens up with a little mirror, and this is just such a pretty colour, um, it's like, I don't know if it's going to show up exactly how it is, but it's a very kind of like strawberry pink colour, but it's got that brightness to it, and recently, as you can tell, I have been trying to wear colours more on my lips, because I'm a nude girl through and through, but this is such a gorgeous colour. And get ready guys, for one of the worst swatches ever. Yep, here it is. The last two items, are these Dior Fluid Lipsticks. I was just so happy to get these guys. I was looking I was looking at them and one of the colours I was actually looking in the store I actually got as a present, which is amazing. And the other colour is what I actually have on my lips today. I got them. And the first one that I was actually kind of looking at in, in the store is Intrigue. And it is this really, really pretty kind of purpley colour and it's kind of what I'd want Rebel to be 
because Rebel seems to be like it comes out a bit sheer, but this just seems so pretty and it's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous dark colour. And although it looks really sheer here, it's actually really buildable. And then the the oh the next one that I have is Pandora, and my friend got this as it's meant to be the iconic kind of colour of the fluid lipsticks, and I love it. Um I'm wearing it today and I just absolutely love this colour. This is not a before orangey kind of reddish tones would never be anything I go for, but they're definitely something I'm after now and I'm so glad I got this. And it's one of those colours that you might pass up, but honestly guys, it is so pretty and I would recommend anyone to get because it would really suit a lot of skin tones. I'm really pale and this still suits me. And the last incredibly bad swatch. So guys, that's my birthday haul and I'm so happy with everything that I got. Honestly, I love everything and it was just a really good birthday. Like I've had, I really had a really good time and I'm so happy with everything. And I apologize if the noise is a bit echoey. Um, this room is really empty, so the noise kind of just goes everywhere. And hopefully you guys have noticed that we actually have a new camera and the quality is much better and me and Gurdjie are going to be filming a lot more. We have the lipstick tag coming up and a lot more other videos coming soon. So thanks so much for watching and definitely leave any comments or anything below and we'll 